Hello and welcome to the video that nobody asked for but everybody is getting. This is the Neopets tier list. I am a fairly new player to Neopets, which I understand is like saying I'm a fairly new person to Constantinople, but I am. I started playing in 2022. I have spent actual real life money on this game, probably more than I've ever spent on my nieces and nephews, so that's great. I don't know why I'm on this hell site. It's like going back to Tumblr. I just have a weird connection to it and I don't want to be here either, but here I am. So as you can see, we have some fun tiers today. As always, if you're new here, I I usually make Animal Crossing videos, but this is me, this is real, and this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Demi Lovato gave me the rights to that song, I can now sing it whenever I want, and I can go on tour and make money off of it, so that's great. The first tier at the top is Hobby Discourse, which actually kind of fits in really well with the theme of this video because I get into a ton of Neopets discourse, which is insane and I'm aware of that. However, Hobby Discourse is like my favorite genre of fighting. If you go on Reddit and you go to the Hobby Drama subreddit, I think it is, you will see miles and miles of people people arguing about yarn, and I could look through that for years. There is something so special, so poignant about people arguing about things that make absolutely no sense to the outside world. I want acronyms. I want people to be talking about Sarah. You all know who Sarah is. Like, no, I don't know who Sarah is, but I'm really excited that you're sharing this with me. I am. That means the world to me. Thank you. The hobby drama subreddit is where I want to be buried, and I want to be underneath the yarn tab. Below that, in our second highest tier, is hoodie that isn't $50. I swear to God, every single hoodie is $50 now, and I can't stand it anymore. I live in hoodies. I'm wearing a hoodie as I record this. Hoodies are very special to me. If I'm not wearing a hoodie, consider me dead. Consider me on the beaches of Normandy dead, filled with bones. I'm normally filled with bones, but like filled with even more bones. I don't know, more bones washed up and are now in my corpse. That's what I'm talking about, okay? But I can't pay $50 per hoodie. What do you think I'm made of money? You think I'm going to work every day and getting a six-figure salary that I can afford $50 hoodies? No, I can't. I will scrounge out pennies from underneath the couches and I will go to a Goodwill and I will buy a hoodie for $5 that smells like man sweat. And I don't care because I'm not paying $50 for a hoodie. Anytime I find a hoodie that's not $50, I get down on my knees and I thank God. Haven't talked to the man in years, but every time I see a hoodie that's affordable, I'm getting down there. In the middle tier is bottle breaking videos and you may be thinking, but I love watching those. How are those middle tiers? They upset me and it's not because I don't find them satisfying. I find them incredibly satisfying, but I cannot sit there and enjoy those without thinking, first of all, who is walking up those stairs? Is somebody gonna get a shard of glass in their foot? Who's cleaning this up? How much glass are we wasting here? Who's gonna die from this? Who's gonna get tetanus from this? Where are these bottles coming from? Where's the sand coming from? Where are you getting the sand? This has plagued me. You know, I feel like I'm asking a question on a rock like a philosopher. You know, I don't understand where these came from, where they were birthed from. I cannot stop thinking about these bottle breaking videos and I will watch them every time, okay? I will enjoy them thoroughly. And yet I cannot help myself but to toil over this. And it's really ruined my life and I think I need to see a therapist, okay? I stopped seeing my therapist because I moved. Now I'm thinking about bottle breaking. It's a really bad cycle. It's awful. Gloves with fingers. Gloves that have fingers, okay? And I'm not talking about like rubber gloves or something. Those are fine, but like actual gloves that have the full fingers. There are no cutouts. They're made of like wool. Those are the ugliest, most sensorily disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. You ever see a thick wool glove? It just looks like somebody is about to go like beg for soup in a 1920s themed musical. Nobody is wearing wool gloves and looking good in them. A leather glove? Yeah, okay. A fingerless leather glove? Mm-hmm. There you go. That's fantastic. But if you put one of those like foot grabber woolen gloves on your hand, you know, I'm one of those people that freezes to death even with the slightest hush of cold, okay? I swear to God, you put one of those on me, I'd rather get frostbite and die outside your house and have you clean me up, okay? Last but not least, I don't feel like I need to explain this one, but AI art, y'all have been pissing me off lately. <laughs> You really have. You are training those things and that is not cool. Go hire a fucking artist. Go pay for a fucking artist or learn how to draw yourself. How about that, okay? Stop fueling AI art. Stop fueling AI writing that is going to take jobs from actual creatives. I will die on this hill. Thank you. All right, let's actually get into the content of this video because that's what we're here for, right? You need to hear my opinions on all of these weird ass little creatures, these little scrangly creatures that I have before me. There are 55 Neopets currently? 50... 
56. I'm not gonna count. Why would I do that? I was not born to count. I was born to do this, whatever this is. Up front is the Akara. And the weirdest thing about the Akara is that she looks like she works at a Victoria's Secret, but is just like constantly looking at your ass in the wrong way. And I'm not saying in a sexual way. I mean, she's looking at your ass because she is like, why did you put a flat iron to that thing? Why do you have a pancake ass? What's that? Your ass is concave. What's that about? Stop looking at me, first of all. I don't have the money to be in a Victoria's Secret anyway, so I'm not gonna buy anything. You know, if I'm in a Victoria's Secret, that means I'm cosplaying rich people. That means I'm trying to get a rush out of my life. That means I'm trying to have some fun. So you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be there anyway, but stop looking at me like that. I get it. You work here. You don't have a pancake ass. I understand, but you gotta stop looking at me like that. I thought I liked Akara's for the longest time. I really did, but then I tried to customize them and it was just awful. You know, it was just terrible. So you know what? I just feel like I don't have as much of a soft spot for Akara's as I used to. Maybe one of these days I'll get it back. Maybe one of these days I will regain my empathy, but it's not today. I'm kind of feeling like bottle breaking videos for her because I don't hate her, not in the slightest, because I think she's okay. If we all put our minds together and we miss frizzled this, we magic school bust this, I think she could be great. I think she could really be something, but it's not today. And she is not really giving me anything while she stares at me. And I kind of want her off my screen. I do. I don't appreciate that kind of look. It's not cool. Bottle breaking videos for Miss Akara. The Aisha, which I have apparently been pronouncing wrong this whole time, but whatever, it's fine. I say Aisha in my head. I'm going to continue to say Aisha in my head, but I'm going to say Aisha for the purposes of this video so nobody beats my ass, okay? Thank you very much. Aishas are my pride and joy. If you ever see me without an Aisha, it means I need to be rushed to the ICU. This is my baby, okay? My little alien double-eared child. Look at those antenna. They look like they could be like dip scoopers, like guacamole serving dishes that you get from Hobby Lobby because you shop at Hobby Lobby for your furniture for some reason. You know, people do that. They shop at Hobby Lobby for their furniture. She looks like she is the most incredible thing a laboratory has ever made, okay? I know this thing is not natural. The Aisha is not a naturally occurring element, okay? But I love her. Look at that. That's a cat. That is an alien cat. And if you are looking at that and you don't just feel like the tears welling up in your eyes, you don't just feel the grief of a thousand mothers, you're lying. She may have a little bit of a terrifying smile. That's okay. I don't judge people, except when I do, and I do that constantly. So I do judge people quite a bit, but I don't judge her. That is an angel. That is a cherub. Do you see it? Hobby discourse, absolutely. I know this girl crochets, not knits, but crochets, because they will get very mad if you say knitting is crocheting and crocheting is knitting, because it's apparently two different things. Bloomeroos. I'm going to sit here in front of you today, and I'm going to come to the defense of Bloomeroos, because I know everybody and their mother hates Bloomeroos. I'm aware of it. Some of my best friends hate Bloomeroos. I love this little man. First of all, you want a humanoid looking thing? You want a little humanoid? That's a little man. That's a man you can shove in your pocket, and I love that. I want a little man that I can carry around with me everywhere I go that's not really a little man because that would be gross, but like a little man that you can carry around with you everywhere you go, that's a bloomeroo. And just look at the amount of excitement, the joy, the lust for life that this man still has. This bloomeroo has not yet seen the type of sin that exists in this world. He has not yet gone through the horrors. And I really respect that because wow, he's got a fist going. I don't know if that is like aggressive. If it is, that's okay. Let your feelings out, feel them. Because look at that face. That's just a perfect face. I'm sorry. His ears and feet may look a little bit like dicks. That's okay. This man wants so badly to be on America's Got Talent and nobody will let him on because he has penis feet. And that really upsets me. Look at him. He owns a little flower shop on the countryside. Can you believe this? Can you believe it? And you're not supporting small businesses? Really? That's so shitty of you. That's really awful. You're not supporting his small business. He will hand you a bouquet of daffodils and he will say, that's for you. Are you going to take it. You're not going to take the bouquet. Okay. Wow. Wow, but wow, you're sick. He's still not my favorite species. A bloomer is not my favorite neopet, but I love him and I will care for him and he will be special to me. This is a hoodie that's not $50. He's good for you. He's going to keep you safe. He's going to keep you warm. He's going to be a friend until the end. He's going to be reliable. He's always going to be there for you. And that's what I love about a bloomer. You know that this little guy is old reliable. You know he is always going to be your friend. He's never going to leave you behind. He's not some rotten fucking liar. He's a bloomer. Bori. I think Boris are supposed to be armadillos or like they're kind of based off of armadillos. I know a lot of these pets are like combinations of two things, but you know what? I'm just saying armadillo here. I think this man is supposed to be an armadillo. That face just 
totally gives me coyote. I don't know why. That's a coyote to me. Some people say coyote and that really pisses me off. No, that's a coyote. Say it right. Say it proud, okay? That is a coyote. I love his little feet. He's adorable. He looks very innocent. He looks very like toddler that you would meet at the playground who starts info dumping about their parents' divorce. You know what I mean? And you know what, buddy? I'm really sorry that your mom slept with another person I am. I'm really sorry about that. That sucks. But I'm also just trying to like read a book. I am just sitting here flipping through a book and he's like got his wide ass eyes staring like up through his forehead looking at me. And it's like, whoa, why are you trying to like enter my brain? Why are you trying to send cosmic waves to the inside of my skull? I don't need that right now, buddy. That's a little baby. And I love that. And I do enjoy a good Bori. My favorite Bori is the robot Bori. I can't do all of the colors because that would take me eight hours and I just don't think I have the stamina for that. I think I die halfway through and then it's like, well, there's a whole unedited video here and I'm dead, so. The regular Bori though, what's he looking at? Which I totally get and I can't like really rag on because that's so me. You know, I wanted to go into science. Now I'm just in like baby science because I have to be baby about it. They just give me vibes that I would get so tired of them so quickly. You know what I mean? Like I would get so fucking tired of a Bori after like 10 minutes. It would be like babysitting a millionaire's devil child. Like, yeah, they might be fun for a minute and you're getting a lot of money for it, but it's not worth it for your psyche overall. I'm gonna go with bottle breaking videos. Yeah, he looks like he would break bottles for fun. Maybe he's the person who's behind those videos. I could see it. The Bori. Yeah. Let me sit here and tell you about the Bruce because every single day I see Bruce is overlooked. I don't know what the plural is, but I'm just not gonna look it up. I don't care. To be quite honest with you, I just don't give a shit. Bruce's are overlooked every single day. I see people put them in the trash. I see people throw them out windows. You know how horrible this is? The Bruce abandonment epidemic is insane. He's a little penguin, first of all. Just like walk with me for a moment. This is a little penguin. He is happy feet. I don't know. Some people fucking hate happy feet, but I like the idea of happy feet. I don't think I've ever seen the movie. I really don't. But this man is happy feet. He comes with a bow. He's a present because he's living in the present because he's really happy to be here with you now. And you know what you're doing to him? You're throwing him the fuck away. Where is your compassion? The candy paint of a Bruce? That's a peach ring gummy. And that tells you all you need to know. You could pop him in your mouth, chew him a couple times. He's still together because he's so chewy. And yet everybody hates him. I hate you all. Okay. I am going to be a Bruce advocate for the rest of my life, and I never thought I would be, but one day I just saw this guy and I felt it. I felt my walls break down. Hoodie that isn't $50, that's my son. Sorry. I would really, really like to be different about buzzes because I love being the quirky bitch in the room. I do. I am with the crowd on this one. I am with the mass amount of crowds here. The buzz just lacks something. And the thing that it's lacking is unfortunately a good design. The tail is what really gets me. First of all, why is it hairy? I know a lot of bugs are hairy, but that's the only part of them that's hairy, okay? That is the only part of the buzz that's hairy. There's hair on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that with the screenshot that I provide actually, but like there are tiny hairs. There's like two tiny hairs drawn onto his tail. And the other thing is what is that tail? What's going on here? Is he a fly or a dragonfly? If he's a dragonfly, he could look so much better. His little mohawk? Not for me. Why are we doing this to bugs? I'm a bug lover, okay? I will rescue any bug I see. I don't even care if it's a fly. I will rescue a fucking fly. I love bugs. And then I sit here and I look at this bug Neopet and I say, that thing pisses me off because it does. Why are we doing this to the bug population? A guy that works at Dick's Sporting Goods and tries to tell you that his dick is as big as a store. That's what we're doing. This is a dude bro and not even a dude dude bro, just a bro. This is a bro and I don't like that. I think for Halloween, everybody should dress up as a net because I think this man needs to be caught. I think he needs to be jailed. He needs to be prisoned. Gloves with fingers. Why are we doing this still? I have to ask. Chia's, here's the thing. I'm trying not to judge all of these pets off of paintbrush colors because you know what? We're talking about the basics here. These are all of the basics. If you've never played Neopets before, you can paint all of your pets different colors and a lot of the colors completely change their look, their clothes, all of that. So I'm trying not to judge them off of that. And if I don't judge them off of that, the Chia is one of my least favorite things on this earth. I despise them. Look at that smug smile. He just tricked you into selling off your grandmother to an organ farm. That's what he did today. And he's happy about it. He's eating his cereal and he's like, well, grandma's going to the organ farm. I had another good day of work. That is a sick, disgusting way of loving Chia. Look at his hair. That is just awful. And I hate him with every fiber of my being, okay? I look at this man and I just feel anger. I understand like mutinies, pure anger inside of me. I feel like I'm going to break something. When you show me a pea Chia or perhaps a grape Chia, 
have none of that emotion is there anymore okay none of that is these are my children these are my small pocket-sized children you could fit them in a little tamagotchi and a keychain perhaps it's just that my opinion varies so wildly that i could like i could crush this thing into my hand and make cottage cheese out of it okay i hate this this is very special to me and i don't know how to rank him because of that i feel like i should just go with my original thoughts and feelings about this red chia right here because i just i need to put him in a blender i need to put him in a blender and water my plants with him i hate him there is something so twisted about a chia ai art i'm sorry i'm putting him lower than the buzz i don't care i'm ignoring the pea chia and the grape chia right now i just have to i have to be truthful i have to be true to myself chombies here's the thing and i would really like to tell you right now that i adore chombies because i do i actually do really love chombies but i have never once owned a chombi in my neopets life i've never owned a chombi i don't see them around i have never like witnessed a chombi in the open they just don't exist to me they are extinct to me like if you dug up some remains it would be a chombi. I like them. I mean, look at that face. They look like they just watched you slip and fall into the Grand Canyon and break your skull open. But I like them still. Like, I think they're really cute. I've never tried to customize one before. I don't know how much of like a character potential these guys have, but I feel a very strong like urge to say like, hey, do you want to go out for a drink? Not in a way that I want to take this chombi on a date, but like I want to gossip with this chombi. I want to take a couple shots and then just like gossip with the chombi. You know, I feel like she knows the workings of the universe. She knows what Janet and next door was doing last night you know like that's how i feel about chombies but would i ever own one would i ever care for one i feel like these are full-grown adults i have no need to like a chombie can handle itself a chombie can stomp on some shit a chombie can own like a 401k that is just so stacked up they're good on their own but i don't really want one <laughs> i don't know why i wish i did i kind of like them but i kind of don't bottle breaking videos i would say you know they interest me but they seem to have a lot of baggage a lot of things i don't want to deal with there's just a life that I have to adhere to. There's a world that I have to stay with and chombies are not in that. Psy bunnies, I love them. I think they're so adorable, but to get into the actual Neopets mechanics here, these things actually suck to customize. They suck. You cannot make any outfits look good on them, and then it's like, well, pre-conversion. I know, UCs, blah, 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 I get it, whatever. We're talking about the things on my screen right now, okay? We're not talking about UCs. We're talking about the things on my screen right now. This bunny works for Rachel Ray, and I don't even know who Rachel Ray is. Like, I know who Rachel Ray is. I've heard her name before. In theory, I know a lot about Rachel Ray, but do I actually know who she is? No. Why is she famous? I don't know. She makes dog food. I don't know who this woman is. I will be so honest with you. I could Google it right now. Should I Google it? Should I Google who Rachel Ray actually is? Because I have no idea. Professional cook? Is she really? Is she really? I thought she was like a model or something. That's what I was thinking was about to come up. Are you serious right now? That's real? That's exactly how I feel about the Psy Bunny. Why are you here? Like, why are you so famous? I love her. I do. I think she's beautiful. But I have no idea how she got here, where she came from. She is just somebody that I've always known. I have never really interacted with, but I have always known. I will never know a Psy Bunny to its truest extent, but I still think they're really cute. I mean, I love a bunny. I'm gonna go with... Hmm. I'm gonna go with hoodie that isn't $50. I mean, she's great and she's adorable. And if you don't customize a generally perfect, adorable Neopet, that's a bunny, that's great, that's adorable. But if you customize, she could not be top tier. Like, if you could customize a Psy Bunny and make them look good, top tier. Would love a Psy Bunny. But I just can't. I don't have that in my heart and I feel terrible saying it. But I just don't. The Drake. If you play Neopets, you know that a Drake is a very sought after thing, right? You know that a Drake is always going to be on the popular roster. If you have a Drake, you are the Regina George of Neopets, okay? Your active better be a Drake, he better be well customized, and he better look fucking cool. He better be pastel or something. That's what I'm talking about. And I thought I loved Drakes for a very long time. Like, I had a Drake called Crucifix. I loved him. I adored him. And then one day I just looked at him for too long and I was like, wait, do I actually like Drakes that much? I thought they were my favorite forever. They weren't. I was lying to myself. And I feel like Drake's as a whole are kind of lying to themselves, you know? Like, they look fantastic. They look adorable. But are they all that the Neopian community is saying that they are? No. And I feel bad because I feel like they are just in their own reality. Like, they don't know real from fake. And I still think they're adorable. But have I ever had a real connection with a Drake? Maybe not. But I think they're adorable. I think they're really cute little dragon guys. They remind me of Dragon Tails. Always gonna be a big Dragon Tails fan. But it's gonna have to be hoodie that isn't $50. 100 and listen, I know these categories are uneven right now. They're not going to stay that way. I don't love every Neopet. In fact, I hate a lot of them. Elephant, which is um how you pronounce E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T-E. 
which looks like it says Elefante, correct? Yeah, no, it's not apparently, because Neopets hates me as a person. They want me to die. But this is an elephant. I hate them even more just because of that. Like, I already didn't like these guys, and I'm not an elephant hater in real life, okay? I love a good elephant. I think they're cute. I think they're adorable. It's so cartoony. It doesn't really match with the rest of the pets, in my opinion. Like, maybe the Akara a little bit, but I just don't like him. I don't know. Something is wrong. It's like humanoid, but not in the way that a bloomer it was humanoid. I mean, humanoid in the way that, like, I'm upset. I need you to go run a Barnes & Noble or something. Like, this is not your place. I don't want to care for this. Something about the design is just so wrong, and I genuinely wish I knew what it was so I could give you, like, a proper actual review here and be like, this is what I don't like about this design. This is what could improve on it. I don't know. That's all I'm gonna give you, and I hope that you're okay with that. Gloves with fingers. We're just getting into the buzz territory again. I mean, like, the outfit is weird. The colors don't really work. Like, why are the wings so small? What are they even there for? Like, it just looks like a mistake. It looks like an issue. And a lot of these pets have mystical features. That's not what I'm talking about. I just hate these specific wings. I really don't wish any harm on these guys, but I hope that I just don't have to deal with them ever again. Especially the gold ones that, like, clog up the pound constantly. Get away from me. Get the fuck away from from me. Yuri's? I... <sighs> like, what am I supposed to say here? They're kind of cool, but they read very, like, my pronouns are USA. Like, I'm not a big fan of the look. They have such an off-putting look in their eye. Like, something terrible is gonna happen. Like, they're a bad omen. Like, you drink a cup of tea, and the tea leaves at the bottom make their face. You're supposed to, like, go into hiding for 10 years. That's what I feel. What's going on here? Why are we still looking at Eries like they're normal? And I don't like to say that, but something is evil. Something's gone wrong here. I want to get to the bottom of whatever it is. I want to go to the Neopet laboratory and say, hey, why are we making these guys evil? Why are we making something wrong with them? Why can't we have a wholesome, fun little children's game without something like this happening? But he's just so lackluster, it hurts me. I don't know, I just feel like the lack of anything is disappointing to like a very core part of me. AI art, I'm sorry, it's literally just the disappointment. I feel empty. And that's not what I want here, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Neopets to fill the void that I have in my heart. Okay, I'm gonna say it right this time. You guys can stop grilling me in the comments of my first Neopets video, okay? You can stop. This is a flotsam, okay? Because apparently that's an old sailor term or whatever. You think I know about the seven seas? You think I'm going out to the beach? I have been an inlander my whole life. I've never once been to the ocean, okay? You think I'm going yo-ho-ho -ho on the seas? No. I sit in my house and I play Neopets and I make these YouTube videos. That's what I do. I'm not on a ship. Anyway, <sighs> it's boring. That's the thing. It's so boring. Like a flotsam is just like eating plain fucking untoasted white bread with no butter for food. It's like, yeah, I guess it works. Sure. But are you going to enjoy it? No. I mean, it's a Neopet. It is a Neopet. I do like the royal girls a lot. I think they're very cute. I just can't get behind this. Like the horn. I don't like the horn very much. It's like you were trying to be a narwhal, but it didn't work. And the narwhal thing is like 2016-esque, which I love. I still love narwhals. I think they're very cute. But I'm curious about what happened here. There's something with the mouth and the eye combination. Like, why are we at a Macy's right now? Why am I at the perfume counter at Macy's? I don't want to buy a perfume, but she is trying to get me to buy a perfume. It's a hundred dollars. I'm not going to buy one for a hundred dollars. Twenty? Okay, maybe. I'm going to go with gloves with fingers. I don't know. I wish I liked them. I genuinely do. I feel bad putting them down there, especially because I know people who like them. I wish I had more love in my heart. I wish I was a better person. I really do, but I'm not. Gellert. I love these guys. I genuinely do. Like the tendrils at the top. Tendrils? Is that what you would call it? I don't know. The ears, I guess? The tentacles? I don't want to say tentacles. I don't like that. I love these guys. They look like Fret from Animal Crossing. You know what I mean? They look like Fret, the villager. They look upset at all times, which I really like. I do enjoy the overall just uneasiness. You know, this guy needs Xanax, and I really relate to that. I love their design. I think they're so fluid and flowy too and easy to customize, like from an actual player standpoint. Standpoint, I like that a lot, but I also feel like they really represent the human experience. You know, haven't we all felt like that for the last three years? Haven't we all had that moment where we just stand there completely still looking concerned? You know, I feel that deep inside of me and I hope that he can live his life to the fullest because he deserves it, but he's just beautiful. He's beautiful. He doesn't even know it. It's like that One Direction song, you know, you don't know you're beautiful. I want to raise him up to be a strong boy. I do. I'm gonna go, hmm. 
see, mm, are they one of my favorite species? I don't even own any, but like kind of they are. I need to fix that. I need to own one at some point, but I kind of love them. Uh, hobby discourse, sure, why not? It's my channel. I can do whatever I want. Leave me alone. The Norbu. First of all, the name is just a tragedy. Norbu. Norbu. No, thank you. I hate that. And they just look so off-putting to me. And I love llamas. I do. Why did you do? Why did you massacre my boy? He looks like he smells like the most rancid sweat you've ever smelled in your life. Like, I'm not a big fan of the way that this is making me feel. I don't like it. I feel like if I saw him and he started charging towards me, I would just like end it myself. I don't care. I would die. Either way, he ends up charging towards me. I'm dying, so I might as well just do it myself. You know, like that's not okay. That's not okay. I don't like the way he makes me feel. I don't like the spots. The spots feel very random. He just gives me the most icky feeling I've ever felt in my life. Like I just, I want to recoil. I want to get into a ball and get away from him. No, thank you. The cloud Norbus are okay. I just can't look at him anymore. AI art, I'm sorry. Like I've had enough. I'm too far gone. I don't like doing this. I feel like I've put myself in a fireplace and I'm setting myself on fire just to warm the Norbu. And that upsets me a lot. Okay, I never want to think about him again. Grarl? See, like, I really wish I could love him. I really have pity for the Grarls because I feel like they are an underappreciated Neopet species, but that's also just because I don't like them. You know, I'm not going to appreciate them if I don't like them. I hate to say it. What are you making that face at me for? Really? Why? What did I do to you? We just met. We just sat down. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not good with facial expressions either. I'm really not. But like, what is that? They just eat like full on objects too. You can feed a Grarl anything. You can feed a Grarl furniture. And that really checks out because he does look like he's Jackie Kennedy munching on some sheet metal. And that's an awful thing to say, but it had to be said. It had to be something that I said because that's the truth. I don't want to ever like silence myself because I have to tell you what I'm actually thinking. And that is a sheet metal muncher. When you go outside and you spray the pesticides, you know, because people spray pesticides, I guess. Stop doing that. Stop. He is out there drinking from the bottle up to his mouth like he is drinking a sports drink. That is what a growl is doing. I can't do this anymore. Gloves with fingers. I don't hate him as much as I hate Norbus. I really don't like him. I just don't like him. Grundos would be the most like perfect species ever. The most perfect, adorable, wonderful species I've ever seen in my life. If it wasn't for the toes, why are those grippers out there? Put the dogs away. Wear some shoes. Oh my god, those are hands. What the fuck is that? No. Like, I feel so horrible saying this because I think Grundos are adorable. They're little aliens. I love a little alien. They're so cute. The toy Grundos, adorable. Fairy Grundos, great. Halloween Grundos, love it. Big fan of it. What is that? Why are there toes? What's with the toes? Why do you need those stompers out and about? Why do you need the sniffers going? What is that? Oh my god, he was so close to being perfect. And like the baby grundos, I can stomach a baby grundo. Like that's great. What is that? You ruined a perfectly good design with the toes. They freak me the fuck out. Go on foot finder. Oh my god, I can't. Next up is the hissy. I have questions. I have a lot of questions here, and that's not me saying I don't like hissies, because I do like hissies. Are those hands or wings, or are they both? And if they're both, why? Why are they both? They have these, like, wing-like things on the side of them, and as you can see in the picture here, like, they're gripping. So they have hand-like qualities as well, but they're feathery, they're wings. Why are they grabbing? What do they need to grab? Firearms? Explosives? Like, I feel like a hissy might be a little bit evil. Like, I feel like a hissy might have a little bit of a sinister intention. He looks like he marks up things at a Goodwill. You know when you go to Goodwill and you find something and you're like, yeah, okay, that's kind of nice. I kind of like that. Like, that's okay. And then it turns out you, like, pull up the tag and it's $23 for something at Goodwill. That's what a hissy's doing. And I'm not saying that that's good, but I do like their design. I do. I enjoy it. I think it's really cute, but it's it's making me mad a little bit. Like, I'm not really enjoying looking at the wings here, but if you get past the wings, it's okay. It's a good design, and I love a snake. I enjoy a snake. I love a little slithery guy, but it's just a little bit off-putting, just a little bit. Like, he couldn't be my favorite specifically because of those. Like, you get rid of those, maybe even just make regular-looking wings that aren't grabby. I would really enjoy it. I really do. I wish that I could say something different, but I can't. Ixies. Folks, we got another winner. We've really got another stellar example of a neopet here apparently these guys are goats 
I thought they were deer. I guess I'm just really not up with my animal identification because I cannot identify shit. You know, like, what is that? It's an ixie. I don't know. It's a deer. If she's a goat, that's great. I love ixies. My favorite neopet that I currently own is Fangura, who is a pastel ixie, and she looks cool as hell. Just incredible. She's gonna win every contest ever. I need to draw her at some point. I love Fangura. And ixies just in general, like, I have another ixie. I have killjoys. I love her so much. I think she is adorable. Look at Fangura. Look at those eyes. Look at her. She's looking at you. She knows everything you've done wrong in your entire life. She's judging you for it, yet you don't care. You're okay with it. You would let her shove you down five flights of stairs because she's just that cool. Look at this Ixie. That's a baby. That's my little child. I love an Ixie so much. Live and lay down your life for Ixies. I love them so much. Absolute hobby discourse. Big Ixie fan. I would like to sell all of my stocks to her so that she can make the money instead of me. I don't have any stocks, but if I did, I would do that. Jetsam. Jetsam is what I think it is. I think it's Jetsam. I'm not gonna let this happen though. Jetsam. Jetsam. Okay, thank you. I absolutely think that these are the better cousin to Flotsams. All right, I don't care. I don't care that he's violent. He's doing some shit. I know that I have gotten at other Neopets for looking violent, but this guy, I feel like he was made to be violent. I won't lie to you. I feel like that's his life purpose. He wants to fight, and who am I to deny him that? You know, who am I to deny the Jetsam a good old-fashioned fight? Like, put him up. Put him up. Let's go. Let's get scratchy. Let's punch each other in the face. Like, I'm ready to go. I want to see him at the ring. Like, this guy is going insane. And I don't love their base colors. I think with base colors, they are actually, like, quite not nice to look at. Not a big fan of that. Once you paint these guys, they go crazy. Look at the eyeliner, though. Like, that's kind of incredible. Where'd you learn that? Who taught you that? Because they didn't teach me. I'm still shit at eyeliner. Like, I've gotten better at eyeliner, but it's still not very straight. And this guy... This guy can do a fucking wing. This is crazy. Look at him. That's crazy. That's really bonkers. Look at the way his tail is like a pitchfork. I think that he makes a mean barbecue. I won't lie to you. Still not something I would probably consider having on my account forever, but like, I like him. I don't know. Speak your truth. Have fun punching people in the face directly. Bottle breaking videos, I think. I think he is the person breaking every single bottle with full force. Like, not the ones that you see going down the stairs, but like when they attach them to strings and swing them like it's a saw trap. That's how I feel. You know, that works for me. I could go with that. I hate jub jubs i really hate jub jubs it's the feet again stop but also the eyes are so empty and like demented like you think a jub jub you look at a jub jub and you're like this is supposed to be the most adorable thing i've ever seen in my life like you can tell the design is supposed to be cutesy and adorable and sweet and amazing and it's like okay right i see the vision why does this thing look like it is a possessed skull of like a fucking bouncy ball why does it look like that is that what you were going for and if it was why did you put the feet on it what's with the feet neopets.com what's with the feet why is this puff ball like this thing that you dunked in aftershave so horrifying there is only one jub jub i like and it is the uc coconut jub jub i can go with that i'm okay with that that's fine that's all right. I despise him. He's so evil. He is so creepy pasta from 2009. Ugh. Put him back in the jar of evil cotton balls. I'm done. I've had enough. That's an AI art for me. No, thank you. That's something AI art would like cultivate to be my biggest fear. The Kachik. Eh? Like, I kind of like Kachiks. I kind of enjoy them. I think they look very sweet. They look like a toy that would be, like, in the 2010s that, like, is made of silicone. You know what I mean? Like, you're supposed to pull the shit out of him and he's supposed to, like, spring right back. But there's something about it's the bald head. That's what it is. I just realized it just now. He looks like he's bald as hell. He's bald. He's bald and he's torturing people who have hair. Why? If the ears were just, like, a little bit higher up, you know? Like, it would work so well. And also the face is just a little off-putting. He looks like he's judging you for, like, coming to the Thanksgiving dinner with a woman. He's cute, but there's just too many elements driving me away from him to enjoy him. Like, I don't really want to talk to him. Like, go back to being a Fox News anchor. I really do want to like this guy, though. I think Kachiks could be so perfect. I wish that I had it in my heart to enjoy him. Gloves with fingers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the Kachik lovers because I know there's so many of you and I wish I could be one of you. The cow. The cow has been the darling of Neopets for the past couple years, right? Everybody wants a cow, especially a burlap cow. Everybody wants a cow. And you know what? I'm going to go with the court of public opinion here because this is my child. This is my little farm girl. This is my little baby. Everybody who has hopped on the cow trends know that I have always been here. Know that I have known this underground artist since the day they released their first EP in 2003. This cow 
wow, I owe this cow my money. I owe this cow my children. I met her once in an IHOP when I was 14 and I fell in love. Cows mean everything to me. And you cannot sit here and tell me that this isn't the most perfect design Neopets has ever made. Yeah, it sure is, baby. I love you so much. Hobby discourse. Fuck Kikos. AI art instantly. I don't feel like I have to explain that. That is the ugliest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. They literally orchestrate every single assassination. They love watching people die. Stop defending these things. They're floating. They're just floating in the air. What? What, you can't even touch the ground, you sicko? Koi's... Koi's lack so much. I mean, the design is just so blank. It's so lifeless, and I hate that. I'm really not like a huge fish person, I won't lie to you. I'm much more like land animal focused with my hyperfixations. Their body is the size of a pea. It's just all tail. What is going on with the eyes, you know? Why are they looking for my crimes? Why are they looking to see if I am like a follower of Christ or not? Like, I feel like this is so LDS churchgoer. I feel like this thing just has so much self-righteousness in its eyes. This thing thinks it's the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned. And I don't. I never have. The lack of vibes, the lack of soul, gloves with fingers, I hate it. Core bats are just a little bit off-putting. Like, I really like bats. I love bats. I have a lot of bat plushies. I want a bat tattoo. But I think it's just like the rat look to it. Not like a good rat. I mean like rat from Pinky in the Brain. You know what I mean? Like that's a Pinky in the Brain style rat. And those are not cute to me. I don't love that. Like if he was modeled after a real rat, that would be adorable. That would be so cute. But this is like a Cartoon Network rat bat. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think that core bats were done just like a little bit dirty. You see that he could just be so much better with a couple small tweaks. Like there's such a cartoony element that doesn't work here. Some of the Neopets work with the cartoony style, a lot of them don't. And that's like, I think the main thing people were really mad about with conversions is like, this is so cartoony. I'm gonna go with bottle breaking videos cause like I don't hate core bats. I really don't. I don't despise them at all, but I don't love them either. They could be so much better. Kugras are a very recent, like love for me lately. I don't know. I never really paid much attention to them. I was never like, ew, I don't like Kugras. But recently, I like get it. I understand why they are so popular. I love a tiger, first of all. I think every neurodivergent kid just loves a tiger. I believe that wholeheartedly. And if I had played Neopets back in the day, I would have had a Kugra. I don't know what I would have had back in the day, actually. That's like a real toss up. I have no idea because I feel like there were just too many options. I'd probably just close the website and be like, no, no, no. No, too many decisions. I'm good. But now, like, I understand a little bit. I get it. The Kugra is a magnificent creature. They look a little bit like a serial mascot, but in a nice way, in a non-threatening way. Like, not a serial mascot I feel like I'd have to look out for during the purge. They feel kind. He looks good. He would be good to you. I don't know. I'm a Kugra fan now. I have Perard Way the Kugra. I wish that I liked them from the beginning. I wish I could see what you guys saw in the beginning, but now I do, and I'm with you. I will always stay here to help you. Cross Crocs are very popular. They're in the same vein as Drake's because they're really hard to get, so people love Crocs. They're fine. They're really just fine to me. I don't know. I feel like Drake's are the better option between the two of them. Like, both of them kind of look reptilian a little bit. I know Drake's are dragons, but both of them have that reptilian edge, and I really do think Drake's are the better option of the two of them, but I don't hate them at all, and I think robot Crocs are really cool. Like, there are things you can do with Crocs that are so neat, that look great, that look fantastic, but just looking at them plainly right now, now, I do feel a sense of dread. I do feel a sense of just oncoming traffic hurling straight at my body. The design is so like slinky, which normally I enjoy, but combined with the sharp elements, it just makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But I feel like if I found the right croc, I could truly love them. I feel like the correct croc for me, I could have a very nice life with a croc. But right now, I just feel like we're very different people, and we're not going to get along very well. And I wish this croc all the best. We're not made for one another. And I'm going to go with bottle breaking videos because of that. Like, I don't hate them. Like I said, Kiri's, uh, they kind of look like the person that you saw at every single family reunion growing up or every family function that would just like offer you a cigarette. And yes, you took it, but you felt guilty about it. And you knew that they weren't supposed to be offering it to you. And they knew that as well. But you took it every single time. It's like the Kiri will never have a good place in your heart, but it will have one in your heart for existing. And I feel like Kiris have good customs. I feel like you can get a good custom out of a Kiri or a Kyrie. Is it Kyrie? 
I don't know. I'm not sitting here saying these things out loud to myself, okay? I play Neopets in the dark. I'm not talking to people while I play Neopets. Thank you very much. But they're just so, they're just such a part of life. But you never really enjoy them either. You never enjoy seeing a Kiri, but you feel comfortable with a Kiri. I'm gonna go with gloves with fingers. I don't know. It's just a little too much for me. It's a little too Dr. Evil for me. No, Austin Powers himself, actually. Lenny's, this is the moral opposite of a jester. Somebody who thinks he's very good and thinks he's funny, but he's not. AI art, sorry. Like, that was just a speed round because I know what I hate. Loops, which are not pronounced Lupes like I thought they were. Okay. Loops are great. They're just a solid wolf girl option. Like, if you grew up in the playground eating sticks, pretending that you were scratching people and giving them rabies. This is a good pet. This is a solid option. I don't have any because they're a little bit too, like, man-looking for me. That seems to be a theme. That seems to be a problem I have constantly. Like, I feel like they're Rocky from Rocky Horror Picture Show. And if you've never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show and you're like, Tim Curry, first of all, get a life. Second of all, no. Frankenfurter's creation. Stop. Like, they're very himbo-y. They're very, very himbo-y. You see no thoughts in that skull. They look a little bit menacing until you, like, actually look at them and you're like oh wait this is just a guy this is truly just a guy walking down the street like there is no menacing energy here he's fine i can say it confidently i enjoy a loop i think they're fine i think they're good hoodie that isn't 50 dollars. i would like to own one at some point i think i might have one on one of my side accounts somewhere for trading i don't know maybe lutaris are another like limited species so they're really expensive to get i don't like them they're supposed to be otters which is crazy by the way that is just a full grown human adult that is is a full-grown human adult who is coming to you for the census. You know that exact like fear you feel when somebody comes to you for the census? Oh, you want to know that I'm here? You want to know that I exist? Hell no. Get out of my house. I'm not answering your questions. Look at that. Look at that face. It's just such a mask. I feel like you could peel it off him. You know, you peel his mask off to reveal the meaty nasty inside. I hate Lutaris. <laughs> God, something is so wrong. It's like a vacation Bible school advertisement. He would be the mascot for it. That's it. AI art. I hate them. I hate them. I'm sorry to the Latari lovers. Mirkas, I just want to kick him. I just want to kick him. I want to take my feet and I want to kick him across the soccer field. That is a ball of a man. I just feel like the squirrel vibe is rancid compared to who we're going to get to later, okay? And I love a round thing. I love an orb but it's off-putting when his whole face is the orb. It's like the jub jub, no thank you, fingers with gloves, not a fan. Mohawks, I didn't like for a long time until there became this trend of like using mouth be gone, which is an item that removes like the horns and stuff. And they look so cute. And now I own a mohawk and she is the love of my life. She's adorable. Her name is Minyelle. She looks perfect. She is so sweet. She's checkered, she's adorable. And she has really made a soft spot for mohawks. Like even normal mohawks, even mohawks without the mouth be gone, I have really grown to love them. I think they're really cute, especially with the mouth be gone, but like in general too. I like them. I think they're adorable. Look at that face. He's so scared. He is on so much meth. He sells and cooks it. Who's to blame him? Hoodie that isn't $50. I think they're sweet. Minchies. No. What else do you want me to say? No, thank you. That's all. Nimos are like the worst case of a missed opportunity I've ever seen in my life, okay? I think that Nimos are the sweetest thing on this earth. You can't dress them for shit though. They never look good. All of the clothing just looks horrifying on a Nimo. You can never get a Nimo to work the way you want, but they are the cutest, most like original, adorable souls ever. And nobody loves them. And it upsets me. Like even though I can't customize a Nimo, I will always be a Nimo lover. I will always enjoy an MO because nobody else will give them the love that they deserve. Look at that face. That is the cutest face ever. I want to be able to customize one of these guys so bad. I love him. I want him to be safe. I want him to be safe and sound, okay? Hobby discourse just because I want him to know that he is so loved. He is so loved and nobody should ever bring him down, all right? Thank you. Ogrins, I really wanted them to just be like a case of like, oh yes, this is my personal martyr. Like, I really need to take in Ogrins, but I can't love them. I tried so hard. I tried everything I did. I tried to love an Ogrin because I really do think that they have potential. They have potential to be such a cute little guy, but something here is wrong. And I feel so bad saying that because like who is going to love this Ogren? Look at the little antenna. Those are so cute. I really can sit here and point out things that I like about this design and yet I still don't like the design. Why can't I love an Ogren if an Ogren could love me? Gloves with fingers. I'm so sorry. I want to love you. There are people in this world that will. Piathins. It's very rare that I like a Piathin, but when I do, I really like them. Like, 
like I think that's such a neat idea I think they're cool <clears throat> that's how I feel about like half of these designs and I'll say it again because I have to be honest with you like what is it about the PFNs that aren't right like seahorse okay I get it but why is there shape like that what is going on here like no clothes work on these guys they're so cool looking in the face like you look at their face and you're like hell yeah go crazy and then you look at the rest of them and it's like uh okay what happened here and do you need help I don't love it. I don't know where to put a PFN though. Bottle breaking videos, I guess, because I feel like there could be some potential here. Like I've seen some cool PFNs. I love the burlap. I think they're really neat. Don't love whatever's going on here though. Like definitely bottle breaking videos. There's something that just can't let me love them. Poogles. I'm about to get ripped to shreds here. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them and I wish I did. But like the smile, it feels like a mistake. Mistake from God. Like I don't, I need to move on from this because I'm gonna get myself roasted and crucified because so many people love poogles and I understand that like I think the pastel poogle in theory is a great design something's not right I'm gonna go with gloves with fingers Ugh. I feel so bad why is he down so low why do I have to be this way Terry's fuck Terry's I, I don't know I enjoy a bird usually but no <laughs> No, no, AI art, no. Why is this a Neopet? Why did we get to this point in humanity? Quiggles, just the most beat on, trotted on fucking species ever, and yet I'm going to pile onto it. Why? What is this? Why do we have the googly eyes? Why do we have like the puppet show vibe? And I love a puppet, but not like this. No, thank you. Quiggles just feel like they were the last resort. Like somebody trying to make a virtual pet site was like, we need one more pet, and they were shaking rocking back and forth and they drew this and the executives like tased them 20 times and threw them in the pit like what happened were we not paying people enough like what is this this is like the absolute last chance of trying to make a pet site this is the last chance of trying to be happy and nobody's happy here this is just beige it's sad it's terrible and i just don't want to say anything else because i feel like he knows what he is he knows what he's done and that's more sad than the reality of the quiggle ai art sorry i'm so so sorry. I look like a Neopets hater. I swear, I'm not really this way. I am. Rookies are like so much better than Buzzes in terms of like the bug Neopet selection. They're still not my favorite favorite. I know they're supposed to be ants or something. Something's not right with the legs. They're so boxy. But I feel like this Neopet works at like maybe a little Italian restaurant and he's like tossing that pizza dough like his mother is going to die if he doesn't make a perfect circle. He's making you a delicious fettuccine alfredo and we don't give him enough credit for that. That guy is just absolutely stirring the shit out of a red sauce. Definitely a bottle breaking videos kind of guy, you know? I wish him all the best. Don't hate rookies, never will. Scorchios, they're so cute. There are so many dragon neopets, it's insane. Like every single neopet is a dragon in some way, shape or form, but whatever, it's fine. Scorpios, Scorpios. The astrology video part two. Scorchios have a kindness in their eyes that I don't think I see with any of the other dragons. You know, they look like they would nurse a puppy back to health if they had to. He could be a Pokemon, honestly. He has Pokemon vibes, you know, kind of like a Charmander vibe to him. And I think that's really cute. He could be a pocket monster. That's a good vibe. That's a good vibe. I don't hate him. I feel like that's bottle breaking videos. Like he should be in bottle breaking videos. There are a lot of cool colors for Scorchios. I don't dislike them. I don't feel anything super strong towards them in any capacity. So that's honestly a good thing for me. <laughs> I'm ready to be flamed. I am. I'm putting myself on the line for you guys, for your entertainment. I hope you like this. The comments are gonna be a shit show. Shoirus, I don't like them. I'm so sorry. I don't like them. It's just the whole like bean shaped head with the giant eye and there's like no texture to them. There's not a damn thing. They don't even have like real heads. They don't have ears. They're just a blob with wings and the wings are so detailed and the body is just like so like bleh, you know what I mean? Why are we doing this? And I feel like I read somewhere, no that's the truth because it's on the Neopets website that Shoirus are the most created Neopet. Are you guys okay? <laughs> Okay, right. This is a new like Tim Burton horror movie character if you just made him look a little bit more tired. That's not really a Neopet vibe. He doesn't fit in with the vibes here. He's just a, an outsider. Gloves with fingers. 
not the worst Neopet. I just don't like them personally. What am I supposed to say? You want me to lie? I don't think you do. Skis are going into AI art. Sorry. I know at least a couple people who are ski apologists and it's like, go your own way, babe. Do what you want to do. I'm not going to do that shit though. <laughs> Tecos, I actually feel like they are kind of a good design. I know a lot of people hate Tecos. They're kind of cute though, especially the new Valentine's color. Like I kind of really like it. I feel like with just a little bit of design tweaking, they could be really cute, but it's so futuristic and weird. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Get out the test tube. Stop with that. Mmm. Mm, it's it's a cis man art style, I hate to say it. They're not the best. I'm gonna go with bottle breaking videos because I don't have as much hatred towards them. Like it's very much indifference, but not liking them. I have to figure myself out before I do these types of videos. The Tonu design, he's too happy. What, you never heard of the state of the world right now? You're happy. Everything's going to shit and you're smiling. Really, okay, I get it. I see where you're coming from. That's really twisted. And I hope that you understand that you have to have empathy. This is a sociopath. This guy doesn't understand the human human condition at all. He's never even had a nightmare, but he shows up in other people's. Anyway, not for me. Not for me. Gloves with fingers. If I talk about Tuscaninis for real, I'm gonna get banned. What's with the hands? AI art. Sorry. Why is this my biggest category? Why am I such a hater? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why am I such a hater? Unis? Okay. I used to not like unis very much, and then I got my baby Dolce Bella Luna, who I'm currently trying to trade away, but whatever. Just like, let me have my sappy story here. Who was like fully battle dome trained in the pound and I just happened to cross her like one of the luckiest things I've ever had in Neopets was getting my uni and I love her so much she has been with me for two years she's so beautiful she saved my life multiple times and that just really gave me a soft spot for unis like I really like their design a lot more now I enjoy them I feel like they're well rendered honestly they look good like unis look good they look like a good art piece and I'm glad that Dolce Bella Luna entered my life and showed me the light and showed me that I I should love them, that I should love unis. You know, I felt a new kindness blossom in me. I felt a new sense of goodness enter my heart. And I feel like I really won there. I had something that so many people don't get to experience where they get to love something new because of Dolce. I hope her new owner loves her. Um, anyway, hoodie that isn't $50. She protected me. She saved me over and over again. She let me have a new life. And I love Dolce for that. I think they're just really cute. I do. Like they have a good design. They're sweet. They're nice to look at. They look like old generation My Little Pony, you know, not like the friendship is magic shit, but like old, old generation My Little Pony. And I do like that. Apparently, these guys are pronounced usuls, which sounds like a sim word, but whatever, okay? I've always said it usul in my head. I've always said usul. I feel like that's the correct pronunciation, actually, and everybody else is just wrong. They look a little bit bald-headed bitch. I won't lie to you. They do. They look a little bit bald-headed bitch, but that's kind of part of their charm for me at this point. Like, you put a cute little wig on them. They are the most perfect Neopet, 100%. Look at that little hand. I have a Dexter custom, like the TV show show Dexter on a Usul, on a Usul, sorry. And I love them so much. Like, I feel like they have the best base for customization. They're so cute. They're human enough to put a wig on them and it looks normal. I need her to serve in my pet roster. And she does that every single day. She wakes up, she gets paid for it. She's on the payroll for serving. And I love that. Hobby discourse, huge fan. Vandegeiers get hate, like, constantly. I know they're the latest Neopet. They look a little bit cartoony, which you would think I didn't like, but I do crucify me put me on the cross I don't care I think they're cute look at them like they're feathery they look like Furbies but like Polly Pocketify I think they're sweet they look fun to customize they look like you could have a lot of fun making a cute one again they are a little bit like to come on Barbie let's go party for me but you know I think that they get a lot of unnecessary flack I think they're a cute design I think they're adorable the pink one is so cute the fairy one is so cute stop your hating on this bitch she's doing her best she's doing her best she has two kids at home. Leave her alone, please. I'm begging you. Hoodie that isn't $50. I think they're cute. Walkies? Ugh. Ugh. Like, I have a rivalry with this thing. That is the smuggest, blunt smoking bitch I've ever seen in my life. Ugh. Why are you looking at me like that? You know, you want to say it to my face? You want to bully me to my face? Really? Come on. Get a grip. Stop hiding behind all of your shit. Stop hiding behind all of your baggage and come out here and face me. Talk to me. Have a conversation with me. Don't just sit there and look at me like this. That. Do it with confidence. Gloves with fingers. Rude. Mean. Nasty. Zwee talks are the emo 
pets that we've always needed. Unfortunately, they're a little hard to customize, but I'm just gonna like go ahead and disregard that right now because look at that hair. That is perfect scene hair. You guys know I love my scene shit. Like that is the most perfect representation of like what I wanted to look like as a child and still now actually. So that doesn't really count. But you know what? Like that is a MySpace star. That motherfucker knows hey Chris, okay? Like look at that face. Look at that eyeliner. Incredible. This thing looks like Pete Wentz. I don't even have any sweet talks, but I just have to put them there because that is perfect. Like hobby discourse. I'm sorry that my tears are all over the place. I just do what I want. Be mad about it. Your balls? You see it, right? You see what I'm looking at here. Do I have to explain it? God, he's just a little rat, little rascal. He spits in your food. He knocks your food onto the ground. He spits in your food and then knocks it onto the ground and then spits in it again. Leave me alone. AI art. I hate that motherfucker. Zafaras. I'm currently trying to find a Zafara that I want to keep because I really like them. I think their design is so cute. They're so much fun to make a character out of. Like, I don't even know what they're trying to be here. Maybe a bunny. Don't know what this is, but I love it. I don't know. She serves. She looks good. Her eyes look great. She may look a little bit like a Muppet. I don't care about that. I love Muppets. I would protect a Muppet with my life. And I would protect a Zafara with my life. I don't even know what this is. I really don't. I can't put any kind of name to it, but I love a Zafara. That is a sweetheart. She's sweet. She's cute. She looks like she bakes goods for a living. She's like a cake decorator on TikTok. Like, come on. She's like the side surf cakes lady. You seen her? Like, that's what she looks like to me. I don't know. She's cute. She's cute. I have a lot of fun with Zafaras. I like them. Hobby discourse, 100%. And that's every single Neopet. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I made it. Please argue with me in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Tell me what you're thinking about the fairy festival so far. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Stay safe, stay wonderful, and thank you so much to my members. I'll see you next time. Bye!